Here's four more very contrasting items from 2007. This is a bizarre one, isn't it? But anyway, I'll um, bring them up to camera one at a time and you see what they do and why I collected them. That was a good one. That'll be quite fun to show you. That's a very unusual thing to show. But I'll start with this postcard. Well, it's a greeting card, actually, because it's something you write on the inside of it as well. But it's got a wonderful picture. This is just superb. This is somewhere in France, and it shows a couple of tightrope walkers who climb the ladder, and there they are on a tightrope, carefully supported tightrope, and making their marriage vows. One of my colleagues pointed out, you can't actually see the ends of the poles there, possibly off camera, so their assistant's holding it to steady it while they make their betrothal, their betrothal marriage vows. What a nice idea that is, though, isn't it? And it's very much a cathedral background, I think, as well, so a religious setting for it. Very unusual, and certainly a day to remember for the people who have to um, be onlookers. Perhaps all the onlookers have got to stand on tight ropes as well, do you think? I don't know. But it's a nice one. I like that. Here's a very unusual Japanese pencil, which I like very much, because it's got a metal tip there and a rather odd bit here. Well, the reason that's odd there is it can be pushed in. And when I push it in, see what happens at the other, at the other end. Can you see that bit of lead coming out? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Down here. So we've got to push, 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 and make him come out again. Just by pushing here with my other finger, I can make it propel. It's a propelling pencil. But what a clever idea to look like an ordinary pencil, and a slightly shortened one. So, nice one. Well done, the Japanese. It certainly fooled me when I first saw it in a shop and thought, oh, I don't want an old pencil half used. This is one of these wonderful promotional items. From uh, uh, This is a partnership of architects who love sending things to the post. It's one of those ones which, when you've undone that, about here, and then you re when you release it with your fingers, it goes poof, top and bottom. Look at that. Elastication to both ends. Hold it there nice and firmly, and then suddenly it takes off like a rocket. Woof. Very nicely done. Beautiful. It packs up nice and small, too. And there's lots of blurb there for advertising themselves. Well, adverts, adverts, adverts. But that's how it starts, like that. <laughs> and the last item is just charming. It's some. Um, it's a thing to, um, it's very handy when you want to open a bottle, isn't it? So there we are, handy, it's a hand. Well, it is a hand, but it's a hand with a difference, of course. See if it comes off a little bit better. Oop. Top, oh, I've got him jammed on. Oh, there we are. He's got a coin in the palm of his hand, too, in the, um, it looks like a coin, but when you look at it carefully, it's actually a metal disc. Let's see if I get this into focus. And it's very, very firmly embedded into the plastic. The plastic is a very tough stuff, indeed. It's not bending at all. It's, uh... And, of course, that is, as you probably expected, one of those things for lifting up the bottle cap. Here we go. Boom! I can now drink your health. <laughs> well, it's only air. <laughs> but that's a nice thing to have.